Good day and welcome back to another DBZ Doka Metal video. In this video we are going to take a look at the information that's been released for the Goku and Piccolo Piccolo unit which is a Goku and Piccolo exchange into Piccolo unit. Now these guys are a pretty cool card. Uh, if you're like myself you've probably been waiting a while for a pretty cool Piccolo and Goku card or especially a Piccolo unit. So in terms of leader skill, uh, they are a Saiyan Saga or Battle of the Wits category lead, key plus 4 and HP attack and defense of 150%. In terms of their passive, they have attack and defense of 100% plus an additional defense of 200% when HP is 50% or more. They also have key plus 5 plus an additional attack of 90% and guard all attacks for 5 turns from the start of turn. So that's pretty cool. Obviously they have guard, uh, which is pretty interesting, and a huge amount of defense as well, uh, which is pretty cool. They launch an additional at super attack within the same turn after receiving an attack as the first attack attacker in the turn, which means you can place them in the first slot. And they have an additional attack of 30% when performing an ultra super attack. They also have an additional attack of 70% when, act when activating the active skill or when key is 24. So the thing is, they look really, really strong. Um, their first slot unit, which is fantastic, you know, that 200% defense on top of their 100% defense, on top of the ability to guard all attacks for five turns, is pretty nuts. Then they launch an additional attack as a first attacker in the turn, so they definitely are a unit that's designed to sit in that first slot. If we take a look at their active skill conditions, it's the special beam cannon. This can be activated after the character receives an attack 7 or more times in battle, or when HP is 50% or less starting from the 4th turn from the start of battle, once only. They greatly raise attack temporarily and cause ultimate damage to the enemy, and disable the enemy's action once within the turn, and they will exchange with Piccolo. So, pretty, like, interesting. Um, like, I like the requirements. They receive attack 7 or more times because they're a first slot unit, you know, or a big defensive unit. Basically, that's pretty good for them. Or when HP is 50% or less, starting from the fourth turn. So, pretty strong. They greatly raise attack temporarily as well, cause ultimate damage, and they disable the enemy's action once within the turn. I'm not entirely certain what that means, uh, but it could be interesting. Their 12 key, they raise attack. Uh, for one turn and then on their 18 key they greatly raise defense for one turn so pretty good then obviously um, yeah all pretty straightforward so not too bad uh, there's also the Piccolo unit as well uh, Piccolo himself obviously no real change like in terms of leader skill uh, something that is interesting uh, is obviously the change in passive Recovers 10% HP at the start of turn, which is really good. Key plus 3 and attack and defense of 100%, which is really solid. Plus an additional key plus 3 and defense of 100% with 3 or more key spheres obtained, which shouldn't be too like difficult. Plus an additional attack of 100% when performing an ultra super attack, which is also not bad. And if HP is 50% or more when performing a super attack, plus an additional attack of 50%. Disables the attacked enemy's action once within the turn when key is 24. Again, not entirely certain what the disabling action means. I assume it possibly means disabling their super attacks, uh, but it will be interesting to see. Then, of course, we have uh, you know, the actual abilities. So they obviously switch around now, uh, whereas Piccolo now raises defense once per turn, which is pretty good, uh, and becomes a defense stacker. And then on the ultra super attack, Oh my god um, again they massively raise attack for one turn so pretty good uh, overall really really interesting um, stuff there and yeah uh, on terms of categories they're on Saiyan Saga, Battle of the Wits, Join Forces, All Out Struggle, Connected Hope and Final Trump Card which you know, is okay like it's really not too bad um, the Final Trump Card and everything like that you kind of wish that for some reason they're on the Mechians I feel like it would have been cool if they were on the Mechians. I know that's not how joint forces or exchange cards work. But it would have been really cool if they were on the Mechians. But I think overall they're a really cool card. Sand Saga lead is really cool. 
Um, and yeah, I just think overall they're really, really strong. They are really good, but of course it's really close to anniversary. So whether you should summon for them is very debatable. Uh, I would very strongly say no. Uh, and yeah, take it from there. But they look really cool. So we'll see how they do in game. And we'll take a look at how well they perform. But yeah, that's going to be it for me, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like. Or I will see you guys in the next one. Take care, stay safe, and bye.